Hey Sag, welcome to your weekly reading for August 2nd to the 8th. My name is Johanna, welcome to Tenacious Soul. We're going to go through some general messages for you guys for the week, so take what resonates, leave the rest. You can always check out your sun, your moon, and your rising sign. Um, I have not been on camera as often this past week. I've just been kind of really feeling uh, kind of drained. I've got a lot going on. I'm working, trying to get a thesis done, and then obviously posting all this content. So um, yeah, just a lot. And I'm not being on camera kind of helps my energy stay afloat. <laughs> so um, I will be on camera a little bit later this week. So if you're checking out any of the other readings, other readings, you'll probably see my face there. Um, but yes, this is probably the last little batch of readings of me being uh, not on camera that you'll see. So we have strategy here number 21 and then we have a man holding a heart number 45 interesting so i kind of feel like somebody is strategizing there's a few different messages so it's either you or this person you're dealing with in love possibly strategizing of how they're going to come forward or this could be a person you don't even know or maybe it's a new person that sort of thing um others of you this is like strategizing how you're going to move forward with um you know, what you're feeling drawn to, whether that's a person, a job, a career, a business, whatever, right? Um, but there's definitely, somebody's trying to be strategic here. So we'll see what kind of comes up here in the tarot cards for you, Saj. So let's see, what does Sagittarius need to know for the week, please, spirit? What does Saj need to know for the week? That is like way too many cards. Sagittarius, what do they need to know? We have Queen of Cups, the Empress, the Six of Cups. We have Judgment, Knight of Pentacles, the Moon, Two of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Swords. So yeah, somebody's thinking a lot about something or stressed about something. This could definitely be you. Um, I feel like you've been like doing a lot of self-care, self-love, maybe looking after a lot of things, you know, just kind of, I feel like really taking care of yourself. Um, I do feel like there's some sort of decision that is maybe needing to be made or there's something that like is a little bit unclear possibly for you, but I do see something new coming in towards you and that could definitely be a person, possibly an earth sign. Um... So yeah, let's kind of see where we go. We have the Queen of Cups, we have the Empress, and we have the Six of Cups here in your recent past. So again, I feel like there's a lot of like self-care here. Uh, really looking after yourself, really nurturing yourself, possibly looking after like family around you as well. Maybe if you have children, Six of Cups, it's like just kind of looking after things, but ultimately just kind of really looking after yourself, maybe like giving yourself a gift, you know, that sort of thing. Just really kind of being in your own vibes and really kind of making yourself feel good here with the Six of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Empress is about growth and um, self-care and, you know, like feeling confident and, you know, creating things in life. So I feel like you've been in this like good vibe energy. Um, some of you could be thinking about the past as well, like thinking about the good things from the past. You could be even dealing with like like a mother or like maybe you're the mother and you're thinking about your children a lot, something like that. But it's if you don't if you're not in that situation, it's more of just like really looking after yourself and really just nurturing yourself, maybe healing from the past as well, healing your heart from the past. If anything has kind of gone on, we're gonna kind of clarify. The current energy we have uh, judgment, we have the knight of pentacles and we have the moon. So there's some sort of like like very slow movement like i don't know if something's slowly being revealed here but it's also like kind of slowly stepping into the unknown like i kind of feel like you're being called in a certain direction here Saj, and it's like there's a lack of clarity or possibly even fear which is maybe holding you back or slowing you down uh we're gonna clarify like i said so we'll get a little bit more details but there is a little bit of like stress and fear and worry here and I feel like it's to step into something new. We have the Ace of Cups behind that. So some of you, it's like, you have to make a decision on something and follow your heart on something, I feel as well. Um, and it's like you, 
I don't know, it's, t it's taking a little while or it's like feels slow or maybe it's like you're slowing yourself down be with this moon energy, but you know you need to make a decision. I just feel like you're maybe taking your time to make that decision or again, strategizing the Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles can be a card about strategizing. If this is a person, this could also be this King of Pentacles, like this Earth vibe. Somebody could also be really trying to decide on if they're going to come forward possibly for some of you it's from the past um you know someone wanting a second chance others of you this is like a person deciding how they're going to come forward and like they're they've been hiding how they feel with the moon here so or they have fears even about coming forward so it definitely could be this um this king of pentacles knight of pentacles energy where it's like they're coming in slow and then in the near future with the two of wands we have the ace of pentacles and we have the king of pentacles so someone's making a decision or you know kind of like offering up this pentacle in the near future here somebody possibly who is at a distance from you maybe you're not talking to them or it's just that they're actually physically deciding to come forward here um i feel like there's some sort of offer on the table in the near future here that you know this week might not necessarily be coming about but um maybe even through like august um so let's kind of see where we go let's clarify so let's see what this six of cups is here in the recent past what is this six of cups here in the recent past for sag so the six of cups is clarified by the page of wands the queen of swords and the eight of pentacles Like some of you definitely could be looking after children or it's just like just working on yourself, right? Working on yourself, going on a spiritual journey or like just kind of a, um, a self-care journey <laughs> is kind of what I want to say, a healing journey. Um, really kind of getting like really focused as well. Um, some of you could be focused on learning things or just like, again, it's like you're kind of maybe going back to something from the past that you wanted to, like a creative project that you wanted to start from the past or something that kind of piqued your interest in the past. I feel like you could be going back to that and working on that or you have been. Yeah, we have the nine of wands. So this is like something, something that you have some sort of like connection to already, but I don't really feel like it's a person. I just feel like it's something that you've been working on and again it could definitely be a project some sort of creative project let me see what this queen of cups is like trying to get something to grow as well with the eight of pentacles and the empress here it's like trying to get something off the ground that maybe you started in the past you know finishing old projects that sort of thing the queen of cups was clarified by the hanged man it's like yeah you're kind of in this like again another spiritual kind of card six of swords so it's like you're you're in this like suspens suspended state Sag, where I feel like you've just been nurturing yourself, really looking after yourself, trying to get yourself, trying to grow, like trying to grow, look after yourself, um, kind of evolve as well, like as a human, like going through the healing process and really looking at things possibly from the past, getting projects and things done that you've, you know, been wanting to work on or you've been wanting. It's like you've just kind of been in this, like, I'm just going to do me type of an energy. Uh, so let's see what this, let's see what this Knight of Pentacles is here in the current energy for you, Sag, this week. What's this Knight of Pentacles energy for Sag? Page of Pentacles. So this is like, again, a little bit of strategy. We have death. This is somebody who's wanting to offer something that has possibly ended from the past. Like somebody wants to resurrect something. What's judgment here for? Yeah, Ten of Pentacles, possibly start a relationship. Some of you too, though, this could be like, if this isn't love, this is like starting a project that you've been working on and like reinvesting into it. We have the tower. This could like, some, there's some sort of tower moment that's causing a decision to be made, whether this is you or a person you're dealing with. Let me see what this moon is here. What's the moon here? by the moon we have the fool the ten of swords and the ace of swords yeah somebody's like maybe hiding the fact that they want to start over with the fool the ten of swords we have the ace of swords it's like they're gaining some sort of clarity there's some sort of like epiphany or tower moment that 
someone or something like whether this is you with a project or you it's almost like realizing that this is actually what they want whether this is you and a project or you and another person maybe like you feeling this way about a person or them feeling this way about you so there's a strat strategic element to okay how do i go and get that then but kind of like holding back still in this current energy with the moon it's like they're not showing you that this ending really bothered them or that like maybe where they're at isn't the best and they want to like dive back into this because it makes them feel better it's like almost kind of like the grass wasn't greener on the other side possibly and even if it's just you and like a project you're working on it's like where you know you might have stopped working on it you've picked it back up recently realizing that this is actually what you want to move forward and this is actually what you want to pursue because where you were you know you weren't you weren't happy with where you were or where you've been currently right so let's see what this uh two of wands is here in the near future for you Saj. what's this two of wands The two of wands is clarified by the six of pentacles with the three of swords at the bottom of the deck. Someone wants to restore balance or fix a situation here. Give me one more card here for this two of wands. Oops. Yeah, wheel of fortune. Someone wants to create some sort of change. Lovers in the Hierophants. So maybe this is definitely love related. Like somebody wants to enter a commitment with you or wants to be committed also they want a chance to redo the connection possibly especially if it if they want to create change between you and them what's this ace of pentacles here there's sag ace of wands yeah they want to re-spark this connection but also that with the ace of pentacles like they want it to go to a committed level we have the ten of pentacles the hierophant like they want to start off on a better foot is kind of what i'm getting three of swords you could have been hurt by this person they could have been hurt by you things just maybe didn't work in the past and now they're kind of like wanting to come back around i feel like if this person's already kind of in your life i feel like you kind of gave them an ultimatum and they're i feel like they'll i feel like they're going to kind of choose your the path with you what's this king of pentacles here three of wands the page of cups some of you this person's going to offer you something and they're like waiting for your results or like <laughs> your result your answer uh give me one more here for this king of pentacles here three of swords ten of wands eight of cups this person wants to move forward with you they kind of want to leave like the past in the past they want to overcome the burden and the struggle that you've had and they want to move they want to create a new life with you if you they want to manifest a new a new beginning they want to take this connection in a new direction here move towards this ace of cups like you know kind of move it from a like a hat to a happier place it's like they want to reinvest into the situation now for others of you um who this is not love i just feel like this is like really stepping into this new path where like you're committing to something new or you're even learning something new that feels more in alignment with you it feels more balanced it feels it's more of like where you want your life to head into right there's there's stability but there's also spark of inspiration there's passion uh, behind what it is that you're doing and so it's like strategizing how you're going to move forward and i feel like you're going to be ready for it in the near future like to actually walk towards it and to actually take steps to manifest and create it um, you're kind of waiting possibly for this opportunity to come in in the near future but i do see it it coming in i do feel like the manifestation of the two of wands and then the, the receiving of the three of wands is here um and don't get disappointed if it's not here when you feel like it should be here because i'm not seeing a ship in this three of wands so i feel like you could possibly still some of you are still waiting for this like opportunity to come in here but i feel like it will be it will be coming in for you Saj. so let's see what your uh animal spirit guides have to say for you this week sag what advice do you have for sag this week what advice i'm just gonna take the top one so we have cheetah get clear on your intention stay focused and move quickly to achieve your goal and then bottom of the deck we have humpback whale 
Uh, music is essential to your healing and well-being, whether singing, playing an instrument, or listening. So I would say, like, to improve your vibration or kind of increase your vibration, if music might be really beneficial for you, maybe some of you are really into music, or you've like you create music, or you sing, or something like that. I feel like getting back into that. Some of you, that's what you're getting back into. Um, but it's like get clear on what it is that you're trying to create. Keep your vibration high, and I feel like. Just keep taking action towards what it is that you're trying to achieve. And if this is somebody that you're dealing with, it's like just be very clear on what it is that you want out of a relationship so that you can clearly communicate that with this person. So that is what I have for you, Sag. Hopefully that's helpful for you guys. Let me know down below. But I hope you guys have a wonderful week, wonderful day, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.